Hey guys, Jake here. Today I'm going to unbox and install the second generation Ring keypad for the Ring home security system. By the way guys, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. We got a lot of great videos coming up ahead. Alright now, so let's go get ahead on this unboxing. Now as you can see, this is packaged in a nice little small package and I got it out and right now here is the keypad so the keypad comes in plastic and on the back there's a little mounting plate which we're going to use later to mount this to the wall nice and flush and it also comes with the USB cable the power up and plug this thing up it comes with the charging brick which will supply the power to the ring keypad and it also comes with the mounting hardware which you can see right in my hand right now which comes with some mollies and it also comes with some screws. Now as you can see here I got the first generation keypad on my wall and it stopped working so I had to get the new keypad and I'm going to install it in the exact same place so my first step is to take off the old keypad and once I do that you can see I'm going to pop on this new keypad and the new keypad does not line up with the old keypad holes only one of the holes will work previously so that's what I'm going to do now if you're doing a new installation entirely you're gonna to have to make three new holes but in my case I only made two new holes and you can see here I'm making sure these holes are clearly well defined so I can go in later with a scratch all right here and remount the holes for a molly to fit into as you can see I'm doing a little trial and error until I get the hole reamed out to the correct size. And once that happens, you can see I can just tap this in right into the wall very quickly. Now I have to do that for those two holes there that I created. And I'm sure you noticed the big hole in the wall with the wire coming out. Now that wire is the USB power supply line for the ring keypad. Now. I didn't make this hole, however, ADT made this hole when I used to have ADT as a security system in my house. Now, this hole is not hard to make yourself. If you really wanted to do it, I'm sure you could poke a screwdriver into the wall and make a hole for yourself in order to route the cable through, just like I have. With that being said, I highly recommend you do this because it makes the install a hell of a lot cleaner and you'll see that as the video progresses. As you can see now, I'm just installing the screws into the mollies I just placed into the wall, and these are just to hold the bracket to the wall that will hold, eventually, the ring keypad. And once you get these on, you could route the wire through the keypad and drop the keypad down. Now, I have to replace this wire just because the wire from the old keypad is broken so I need to replace it with a brand new wire so I'll show you how to do that in a moment once that's all tightened up you'll see I'm going to rip out this old wire from the wall and you can see how convenient it is to have the power socket right next to that USB connector because in this case it makes for the install to look super clean and super professional, which I think is a must-have if you're installing anything in your own house. Now the way I'm going to pass this wire through the wall is I'm going to take this old wire clothes hanger and I'm going to poke it through both ends of the wall to make almost like a little snake to bring one end of the wire over to the other end of the wall. Now I'm using tape to attach this wire to this clothes hanger which is poked through my wall at the moment and you have to make sure that's a good connection as you saw right there because you don't want to pull and leave the wire hanging in the wall so as you can see if you just pull carefully you'll be able to slip that micro USB end right through the wall and right through that bracket in order to plug in your brand new keypad as you can see, here I am pulling the wire out of the wall. And as you pull it out of the wall, you're going to have to take all the tape off of that end because there's no reason for that to be there anymore. And there we go. We can now plug in the ring keypad 
and mount it flushly to the wall without any wires hanging. Now as you can see how clean of an installation that is. It looks like it's always been there and it looks like it's professional. So when we plug in our new ring keypad you're going to see it's going to light up and it's going to be ready to be set up in the ring app. Now I'm not going to go through that setup process however there is tons of information online and I'll link a video in the description on how to go about that. Remember guys, I'm going to link all the tools and I'm going to link this keypad in the description so you can find it for yourself. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. And if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe and you'll see some great content in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.